All right, guys, we'll go back to the third update on Tropical Cyclone Judy, which, of course, has been rapidly intensifying. Actually, it's not actually really intensifying much anymore. It was rapidly intensifying about 12 hours ago, but it's really cut off. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why. It might be because maybe a sudden uh, jolt in wind shear. Maybe the moisture level... Well, the moisture levels are dropping, but maybe they've dropped quite significantly. Maybe it's because of the sea surface temperatures. I'm not sure, but this storm really has not been able to clear out its eye very well. It Got, it got pretty decent around uh, nine hours ago, but it's really struggled. Surprisingly, the ATCF have gone with winds of 125 miles per hour for this. I do not think it is worthy of that high. Um, that is the JTWC. I don't think it's that high, but currently we're going to go over the statistics for the storm from our analysis. The storm currently has maximum wind gusts of 140 miles per hour. That's 225 kilometers per hour. A pressure of 943 millibars. It is moving southeast at 14 miles, 15 miles per hour. Sorry, and it is a uh, level nine on the uh, wind gust scale, which is um, 130 to 160 miles per hour. It is level nine, and then 160 and above is uh, level uh, 10 so once you start to get into those really powerful ranges usually a sustained wind uh, one minute of 130 miles per hour uh, gusts are usually up to 160 and that will make the storm a level 10 so a really powerful storm usually category 4 to the level 10s wind gusts of 140 miles per hour could be over the oceans right now so we do need to watch out for very heavy waves for Vanuatu um, take a look at the estimates here the JTWC still holding at 120 but ATCF like I said before now at 125 very surprising i don't think it is worthy of 125 whatsoever adt going for 110 aidt going for 100 miles per hour open air going with 115 and we're going with open air uh, 150 and i just do not think it's worthy of 120 125 just it just doesn't look that good and we were actually going to put it below uh, category two i mean category three sorry we were, we were going to go with adt but we've decided to go up a little bit just keep in mind this may be overestimating a little bit so it may actually be a bit weaker than this um uh, right now but yeah it's very surprising how atcf in their latest update which came out around uh, 40 minutes ago have gone with 125 that's a five mile an hour upgrade from the last update um take a look at the jcwc forecast cone there it is 105 they were expecting it to reach 110 uh, not um is it going to reach it though maybe gusts expected to be up to 135 knots at that uh, peak we don't think gusts are that high currently and um, since the storm is very it's very tight and compact and also the eye feature is just not really looking very good convection is still really tall though and you can see it holds hurricane stats for quite a while until it starts moving into those extra tropical regions and yeah that's when the storm really starts to not look very good and it does start to weaken thankfully no threat for new zealand it doesn't look like though it looks like it's just going to go in your typical way with the jet streams taking it away and um, take a look at the fiji uh, meteorological service forecast cone you can see they're actually expecting a category 5 peak on their scale that is um remarkable actually um I, I believe that means they're predicting wind gusts to be well and above 160 miles per hour is that gonna happen i don't know um but you can see that was at 6 UTC they're accepting that by 1800 UTC which is actually in 6 hours is it going to reach it? I mean it does it could still intensify but with the latest satellite frames I'm not, I'm not too sure microwave imagery is not looking as convincing anymore the eye wall is still there but it's sort of like shrouded up a little bit um, it's, it's okay of course it did actually make a landfall on Port Villa um, this storm did are very surprising uh, as a category 3 or 4 according to the Fiji Beach Rodical Service um, and uh, yeah looking pretty powerful at the minute take a look at the uh, visible shortwave art imagery here you can see the storm there looking pretty decent on the satellite imagery no real apparent eye feature though you can't really see an eye feature there um but there is one under all of that convection you can see uh starting to clear the vanuatu islands that would have fully cleared them in around the next six hours take a look at the true color imagery here zoomed out and you can see uh this is actually shortwave uh, zoomed out and you can see it's a very big storm actually there's our other invest to the top left of your screen that could form as well and uh yeah that is likely actually going to form and head to a similar place where this storm's going since they're sort of like in a like a bigger uh, low pressure area together and there's sort of like a low pressure area in the middle it's sort of dragging these storms around so it's a very um, interesting interaction between these two interests area of interest um this one of course though is uh, actually fully tropical cyclone and it looks like it's going to also affect Vanuatu anyway thanks for watching this update on tropical cyclone Judy I hope you enjoyed I'll see you in the next update peace out